UFC 307 this weekend. Alex Pereira versus Cleo Roundtree. Man, what a fight this is going to be. I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one because it sounds like there's going to be a very high chance that there's going to be a knockout or a brutal knockout at that. Both fighters are known for just standing in a bank. None of them want to go for a takedown or do any wrestling or any jiu-jitsu or anything like that. They're both going to stand on their feet and try and get the knockout that way. Pereira, more of a kickboxer. And Roundtree, he claims to have more of a tie boxing sort of style. So it's going to make a very good, interesting fight. However, saying all that, and this is from a fan perspective, from a fighter's perspective, I think one of them should go for a takedown. If one of them tries to go for a takedown, that could make the difference in this fight. Even just the threat of the takedown is going to allow them to get more comfortable with their striking because the opponent has got to think about the takedown happening to them. So anyway, let's give my predictions, who I think is going to win, and some faults on keys to victory, how they can win. So, Pereira is, in my opinion, gonna be slightly more powerful with the knockouts. He's slightly bigger, he's slightly taller, so I think he's gonna have more knockout power. But having said that, I think he needs to be extremely patient, like he is. Basically using the strategy is what he's good at, really. Just being patient, picking his shots at the right moment, where this is where Roundtree, I think, should not be doing, where this is a strategy I'd imagine he wants to apply, is to pick his shots, but I don't think that's gonna be a good way for keys to victory for him. I think he's gonna be faster than Pereira, so I think he needs to use that, but I think he needs to try and make it a little bit more of an uglier fight and maybe even come forward a bit more and bearing in mind he says he has that tie boxing background i'd like to see him clinch up and use some of them knees and elbows i mean he could even cut him in a clinch and win the fight that way especially if prayer was not going to take him down there's no arm in clinching him pushing up against the fence trying to use his knees and elbows but having said that there's two reasons why that strategy might not work. First reason, like I said earlier, he's gonna be the slightly smaller out of the two on the actual day. I know they weigh both the same, but come on, we, we all know when they get in that cage, they're not weighing the same. So I think he's gonna be the slightly smaller of the two fighters and his gas tank is a little bit more questionable. Is Roundtree going to be able to last them five rounds? That's why I think Pereira, like I said earlier, needs to be more patient. That's why I am going to give this one to Pereira. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Alex Pereira is going to win? Because he, is he going to win? How's he going to win? Is he going to be win, win by knockout? Or are you going to give it to Roundtree? I think if Roundtree is gonna win it's gonna be a second round knockout if he doesn't win by the second round i think the favor is gonna go more towards Pereira. although like i said i want Pereira to be patient and not necessarily push the pace to try and gas out round three i think the longer the fight goes on in my opinion the more it's gonna favor Pereira. thanks again for watching if you want to see some more UFC content or breakdown of fights and check out this playlist over here.